Determine within yourself that you would not continue on like this. Determine within yourself that you will not in any way be under the control of anyone because of the things they know about you, because of the mistakes you had made. You see, they said to themselves, we will tear off their feathers apart and cast their cords from us. Dear child of God, tell them, call them and tell them, today I break myself free. Call them and tell them I break myself free and you cannot dictate to me anymore. Dear child of God, God will give you directions. He will tell you what to do. And today you shall receive your deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He prayed, he said, deliver me. I pray thee from the hand of my brother. He prayed, he says, deliver me, dear child of God. And he was told, until the day you get tired, you will break yourself free. You need to come to that point of knowing what to do. You need to come to that point of determining within yourself that this is what I need to do. This is how I need to get myself free. Yes, dear child of God, if you have to report to the authorities, do so immediately. You cannot continue remaining in that state anymore. You cannot have your free life because of the things they are doing against you to keep you bound, to keep you in cage, to keep you trapped. Today, there will be a change. If you will tell yourself, I'm breaking free, it is your choice to make. Dear child of God, you have been there in that shackles for a long time. You know how long you have been there. Yes, a decade has passed. Two decades have gone by. You have still remained in that state because of the things that you have been praying for, asking the Lord to break you free from. And you know that you can determine within yourself to get yourself out by doing what is needful. Today, God will give you directions. He will tell you what to do. He will show you what to do to get yourself free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. God will give you strength. He will give you supernatural might. He will give you wisdom. And you will know what to do. You will know exactly what to do in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for the ones you cannot control by yourself, for the ones you cannot help yourself. The Lord God of heaven will send his angels, will send his help towards your direction and you shall be helped in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Peter was locked up and the Lord sent an angel and he went right into the prison and broke those chains and brought him out. It was like a dream of the night. But all he found himself was that he was already out. He found himself free. He found himself already free from their shackles, from the shackles of the enemies. He walked out a free man. Dear child of God, when you cannot help yourself, Peter couldn't help himself. God sent help. God will send that help to you. When you cannot do it all by yourself, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Dear child of God, it is time that you arise. It is time that you arise. It is time you say to yourself, enough is enough. Enough is enough. I'm breaking free. It is time you say to yourself, enough is enough. It is time that I enjoy my life. I need to enjoy my blessing. I need to enjoy the heritages that God has provided unto me. Dear child of God, you are not meant to suffer. And so you need to say to yourself, it is time we would arise. We would arise and break the shackles off. The word of God says, let their chains be broken and their cause taken from of us. It says, let the cause be taken from of us. Dear child of God, you need to make a clear decision today that I don't want this upon myself anymore. It says, let's tear off the shackles they've put on us. Let's free ourselves from their ropes. They said, in Psalms 2 verse 3, they said, let's tear off the shackles they've put on on us dear child of God who have placed some shackles upon you who have placed some yokes upon you dear child of God who have kept you bound for a long time he says let's break their bonds apart and cast their cords from us you need to make a decision today that I'm going to break these chains I'm going to get myself free I'm going to get myself out of this mess dear child of God you have been there for a long time you have been there for a long time under their mercy. You have been there for a long time not able to have your own life. Today, make up your mind that enough is enough. I'm breaking free. I'm breaking free. I'm breaking free. They determined within themselves that today we will tear off these feathers. Today we will break this cause. We'll break this cause from us. We'll break this cause from us. And we'll tear their ropes. And so it was, dear child of God. 
their deliverance began from that moment. They have been raging at you, dear child of God. They have not been happy with your progress and you know about it. But you have not been able to do anything about it. Sometimes you cannot speak when they speak because you have been in bondage. Today, the Lord God will give you the courage to break yourself free in the mighty name of Jesus. They determined within themselves that it was time. It was time. It was time to get out. It was time to break free, dear child of God, and they broke free. I decree and I declare today that the Lord God of heaven is giving you strength to break free in the name of Jesus. You see, the father of Esau told him, my God, he said to him, Isaac told him, on the day you get tired, on the day you have become weary, on the day you cannot handle it anymore, you will break the yokes of your neck. And so Esau did. He broke the yokes. He got tired. He said, I cannot continue in this bondage. I cannot continue in this pain. I cannot continue in this suffering. And that was when everything ended. This is until you become tired. This is until the day you become tired. Until the day you don't want to take it anymore. He says, then you break the yokes. And so it was. The yokes was broken. Dear child of God, today the yoke shall be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus. And you shall be free in Jesus' name. You shall enjoy your life on the face of the earth. You shall enjoy the blessings of God on the face of the earth. Dear child of God, you shall enjoy everything that were rightfully yours. Your portion that was taken for years. Dear child of God, Esau was there for 40 years. He was not making progress. He kept on making wrong decisions because of the mistakes. For 40 years, he kept on making wrong decisions because of the chains, because of the shackles. But he came to a point, he said, no, enough is enough. I needed to break. My father had told me the day I get tired, dear child of God, today has come. That day has come, dear child of God, for you to see enough is enough. I'm tired. I'm tired to continue in this shackle. I'm tired to continue in this state. I'm tired to continue being haunted night and day, dear child of God. They are haunting you because of the things they know about you. Dear child of God, because of one mistake you had made, they keep bringing it to your face, using it against you to blackmail you today. Make up your mind that I'm breaking free in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, you did not want it out for a long time, but you cannot continue, dear child of God. You cannot continue being in their mess. You cannot continue that they would allow themselves to ride over you. Dear child of God, you cannot continue to see them run over you. you not continue to see them dictate to you when you're supposed to live your life but it's time you break free and say enough is enough you have cried night and day you have been asking the lord i want this to end but right now you are getting the message that the chain shall be broken when you determine within yourself when you say to yourself right now i'm arising and i'm breaking these yokes of my life i'm breaking these chains of my life I'm taking myself out of this bondage. I'm going to make sure I enjoy my life. I'm going to make sure I enjoy my day. The remaining days I have on the face of the earth, I'm going to make sure I enjoy the blessings that God is bringing my way. Dear child of God, determine within yourself that this will not continue anymore. Determine within yourself that you shall not go all like this. You, your loved ones, your family, your entire household shall be free from their bondage, from their shackles, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Get set to testify because you will testify of your deliverance, of how the Lord set you free, of how the Lord had broken you free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So don't dwell there for a long time anymore, dear child of God. Don't continue in that state. Don't continue being under their control. Don't continue to be in the state that they lord over you don't continue anymore break free they said to themselves we will break free we'll cut the ropes we'll break the bands and they did so they got out and they enjoyed their lives from that day on you shall enjoy your life the blessings that god has brought your way your family that you have not had times with because of the situation you shall enjoy them from this day because the lord will tell you what to do and afterwards dear child of god you will breathe the breath of fresh air in the mighty name of jesus those who have been attacking you night and day those who have made your night very miserable they made you cry every night they made you weep because of all the things that they had done 
because of all of their threats, their child of God, because of all the malicious acts that they have done against you. Please go to God today and say, Father, you see them, you know them. Please make them as still as stone. And I want to assure you, those who have been fighting against you, those who said you will not see progress in life, those who were behind the pains, yes, behind your frustration, behind your suffering, those who were plotting in secret, yes, they had planned in secret to bring you down. Every one of them would be as still as stone in the mighty name of Jesus. This was what God did to make sure his people pass by in safety. Dear child of God, this was what God did to make sure his people escaped. I want you to know today, you pass by in safety. You would escape the wrath of the enemies. Dear child of God, all of the snares, the enchantments, the wickedness of the enemies, none of them would be able to succeed against your life because from this day, God will make sure every one of them would be as still as stone in the mighty name of Jesus. So cry no more and say, Father, it is in you I know I have my rest. It is in you I know I have my help. Please come to my rescue. Please come through for me. Please show up for me. And I want to assure you, dear child of God, God will show up for you in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, you'll be blessed. He said, you'll be blessed in the city. Dear child of God, he said, you'll be blessed in the country that you are. Those people in that city, those people in that country that had vowed you will not make it. Dear child of God, those people in that nation that vowed that you will not succeed, that are behind everything that you have suffered today, God will make sure they'll be as still as stone in the mighty name of Jesus. God had promised you good health. He said that health will be your bread. He said you will live in good health. He said he will take sicknesses away from you. He said you will not be afflicted. Everyone who are behind your afflictions, dear child of God, everyone who are behind the things that you have suffered, who caused you to be down in health today, God will hear your cry when you say to him, Father, I present them to you by your power, by the power of your hand, O Lord, make them as still as stone. And I want to assure you, dear child of God, you will discover you would recover. You will discover things will begin to change. You will discover there will be a transformation in your health. And those who were behind it, they will not be able to do anything anymore. They will become incapacitated in the mighty name of Jesus. Dear child of God, you will be delivered. Those who have brought you into captivity, yes, they have brought you into the house of bondage today, as God did for his people, and made sure he took them out of the house of bondage and made them to enjoy life, and made them to enjoy rest, and made them to enjoy his blessings. Dear child of God, this is how God will do for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, he would make sure he brings you out of that captivity. Dear child of God, he will make sure he brings you out of that bondage, and every one of them shall be as still as stone in the mighty name of Jesus. When the Lord did it for Paul and Silas, that was how it happened. Yes, he made sure he showed forth his transforming power that even the jailer was almost taking his own life until God showed him mercy. They'll become as still as stone. Your captors, yes, your tormentors, dear child of God, the Lord will deliver you and make sure each and every one of them would become as still as stone in the mighty name of Jesus. He had declared he's going to do it and this he will do in the mighty name of Jesus. So go to him and say, Father, by the power of your hand, yes, they will be as still as a stone until your people, until my people, until my children, until everyone connected to me gets to the place of their blessings, gets to the place of their rest, get to the place of their upliftment, make them as still as stone. Exodus 15 verse 16 says, By the power of your arm, they will be as still as a stone until your people pass by. He said, O Lord, until the people you have bought pass by. Dear child of God, he said by his power, by the strength of his hand, by the miraculous working of God, he said they will be as still as stone. He was saying the enemies, those that were contending against them, those that were pursuing them to destroy them. He said by the power of God, they will become as still as stone. Dear child of God, 
everyone against your life everyone fighting against your destiny everyone fighting against your home they have been fighting against your progress night and day they told you you will know no peace they told you you are going to suffer they told you you are going to see pains in your life they told you they will make your life very miserable dear child of god just go to god and say father by your power please make them as still as stone dear child of god what the lord did was that he made them incapacitated what the lord did was that he paralyzed them they could not do the things that they intended he said that their hands will not be able to carry out their enterprise he said he frustrated their devices dear child of god this day those who had vowed to do you wrong those who had vowed to do you evil god will make them as still as stone in the mighty name of jesus they will discover suddenly they will not be able to attack you anymore because god would have dealt with them with his terrible blow dear child of god he said by your power o oh god they will be as still as stone until your people pass by dear child of god those who have stood in the way of your breakthrough they stood in the way of your blessing they said you will not make it they said you will not make progress in life dear child of god they would watch you achieve the things that they said you will not achieve because god would have made them as still as stone in the mighty name of jesus they will not be able to raise their fist against you anymore dear child of god god is going to make you strong he will give you pace he will give you speed such that they will not be able to catch up with you in the mighty name of jesus dear child of god you have been bought you have been bought by god and then he has decided that he will make your life meaningful he said he's going to make your life a blessing he's saying he's going to make your life glorious dear child of god trust him he said he's going to bless you indeed he said you're going to eat the good of the land the people contending against you from eating the good of the land dear child of god they will become as still as stone in the mighty name of jesus he said he's going to prosper you he said your promotion is from him it is not from anywhere dear child of god those who had withstood you those who sat on your promotion for a long time this day god will make them to be as still as stone in the mighty name of jesus and you shall be promoted in jesus mighty name those that said that over their dead bodies would you marry would you come to the place of rest would you come to the place of settlement the child of god turn to god and say father by your power by the power of your hand please make them as still as stone and the child of god the things that they said you will not do you'll be able to do god will say to you in the home that you are supposed to be in in the mighty name of jesus god had promised that you will live he said you will not die he said he will declare his works in the land of the living dear child of god those that have been injuring you those that have been fighting against you from declaring the works of god in the land of the living those that vowed that they were going to destroy you god has said you will not die god has said you will live and those that are opposing that decision of god dear child of god today just go to god and say father please by your power by your mighty hand please make them as still as stone and dear child of god they will see you live they will see you flourish they will see you bored they will see you blossom and they will not be able to do anything about it dear child of god go to god and say father everyone who have said i will not make it in life everyone who have been fighting against my destiny please make them as still as stone that is they will not be able to attack you again those who have been waiting on the way to relay you dear child of god they have been finding ways to bring you down they have been finding some loopholes around you to destroy you dear child of god to see that your image to see that your name is tarnished today god will make sure that they become as still as stone and they will not be able to succeed against your life ever again in the mighty name of jesus Trust the Lord God of heaven, who had promised to give you victory, who said you are more than a conqueror, who said you are more than a victor. Trust him, and I want to assure you, you would experience victory, glorious victory you would experience in your life, in the mighty name 
of Jesus Christ. So pray like Moses and say, Father, by your power, please make them, yes, by the power of your hand, please make them as still as stone until we go to our place of rest, until we go to the place of our promise, yes. The things that you have said we are going to receive, please make those enemies, those are tormentors, those are oppressors, make them as still as stone until everything is given to us. And dear child of God, I want to assure you, you would have everything given to you in abundance in the mighty name of Jesus and they will not be able to do anything about it. Those who wanted you destroyed, dear child of God, they will not be able to do anything about it. Those who wanted you dead, they will not be able to do anything about it. Those who wanted your name destroyed, they will not be able to do anything about it. Those who wanted to see that you are in pain, dear child of God, they will not be able to do anything again, ever again, in the mighty name of Jesus. And you shall still have that testimony, that victory that is yours. It shall happen immediately in Jesus' mighty name. Trust Jehovah who gives his people rest and he will give you rest. I'm assured of this. He will give you a rest in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Go forth, for you will testify, saying that God has made your enemies, your tormentors, your pressures to become a steel, a stone. Go forth, for you will testify in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you and shalom.